Hey everybody, welcome to another beautiful but a little more nippy day today here in the uh, DC area. My name is Bob Woods, I'm from the Stogied Network. We're located at www.stogied.com. That's Stogied with a D.com. Uh, last time we did a video, which was also our first video, it went, let's just say, pretty much ungodly long. Depending on where you saw it at, it was either about uh, 12, 13 minutes or 18 minutes in length, which in internet time is about the equivalent of an entire series of, or season as we'd say here in the U.S., of uh, Masterpiece Theater. So, you know, we're definitely going to make this one shorter, more compact, and something that you'll be able to, uh, you know, consume, as they say, in much more of a uh, bite size. So, with that in mind, let's go on to our premiere uh, stogie today that we are going to be rating. Oh, and by the way, it's been a heck of a week for me in terms of time. I usually try to smoke one before this video, so uh, this time, unfortunately, I did not. So this is going to be what we call a first impressions video. I've never had this cigar before. It's going to be my first impression of it as we go through it, which I may actually just start doing that in the future. We'll just have to see. So the cigar that we're rating today is the Room 101, which is actually made by Camacho. Uh, Room 101 is a, a boutique brand uh, made by, uh, well, actually not made by, but um, Matt Booth, who is a Los Angeles-based jewelry designer, got together with Camacho to actually put this together. Um, it is the 305 Robusto size, which is a 5 by 50 stick. Uh, this is almost a uh, Honduran Puro. Its uh, origin is a Honduran, its binder is Honduran, the wrapper, I'm sorry, the filler is uh, Honduran and Dominican Republic, so it kind of falls apart a little bit there. And the uh, wrapper is the Semilla 101 uh, Ronin Honduras. I believe that this is uh, specifically for that cigar. I paid uh, eight bucks for it and I ran up to my uh, good old standby, a good uh, cigar shop and cigar chain here in the uh, DC, in the uh, Maryland suburbs of the District of Columbia, Davidus in Olney, Maryland. In terms of rating all of our cigars, we use the Stogie Cigar Rating Tracker. This is just a system that makes us and makes it easier for us to keep track of things here. If you want to uh, keep track along with us uh, while you are enjoying this cigar, or if you just want to use this tracker for your own cigar, you can go to the Stogie site and download it. Uh, the information on how to do that is right on your screen. All right, we're ready to go. Um, as you can see, literally just bought this thing yesterday. It's still in the wrapper. So if there's any kind of, uh, I'm not going to knock it down for anything that might be related to humidification, although they do a great job at Davidus of, uh, of, hum of humidifying their cigars. So with that in mind, we're going to uh, go to the first category, which is aesthetics. Um, this is a, uh, it's a, it's a dark, not dark, it's like a medium dark. Uh, I do like the font style in the Room 101 uh, band and you can see that it's also made by Camacho. Uh, a little veiny, just slightly toothy, and uh, it's. Uh, I'll give this a 4.5. And construction is very well made, which of course you'd expect from a Camacho cigar. Now, construction-wise, um, very solid. Uh, 50. Boy, it seems a little small for 50, but I'm going to trust them that, that it is 50. Uh, it's a little veiny, not too much so, not objectionably so, and. Uh, very, very solid. We'll give them a 4.5 on that as well. Now it's time for the pre-burn, which is when we clip off the cap. I found my uh, trusty Zycar cutter earlier this week, so I'm going to be using that. Get the cap. Lost the cap. There's the cap. I uh, need a couple of shavings, so I'm just going to open this up just a little bit more. Like so going to collect all those together, do a quick pre-burn on it, it definitely has the scent of a, uh, of a fine handmade cigar and the most important thing that's happening from the pre-burn is that the taste buds are salivating for the whole thing so uh, we're definitely going to uh, give that a yes uh, it's a very very good pre-burn and uh, we're going to go to the light up gotta toast this a little bit it's a little windy I hope this all works out
I've heard confl uh, conflicting reports that this is a medium or a medium full cigar. I'd say just right at the start, I'd definitely call it a medium cigar. Uh, definitely has some, uh, definitely has a little bit of a pepper note to it. Um, I want to say a flint, a uh, bit of flint there, but not, but not too much. I'm not a real flinty kind of cigar guy. And overall, uh, at the start here, it's pretty good. I'd give it um, probably a 4.2 in terms of that. And I'm forgetting to write these down, which is dangerous, as we discovered with the first video. So, 4.2. So, while we, while we let this go here, oh, that's good. Uh, also going to talk real quick about beers here. Um, as, as it is around most of the country here in the D.C. area, it's definitely getting cooler, which means that uh, in terms of cigars, definitely going to be probably doing more of the uh, Robustos because if you're like me, you smoke outside and when it gets cold outside, you want to have a good flavor of old cigar, but yet you don't want to spend a lot of time out there. So uh, Robusto cigars, and we're also going to start focusing a little more on some of the craft beers out there that focus on the winter flavor. So with that in mind, this week I decided to get something that's a little more nationally unknown and uh, nationally available, the Sam Adams Winter Lager. Um, I've never had this one before either, so this is going to be very interesting. It's described at the site, if memory serves, as uh, it, it's kind of uh, uh, floral. It's got a bit of cinnamon and um, definitely some winter and holiday spices in there too. So if you've had winter beers or even if you've, uh, if you've had like um, winter or holiday slash Christmas themed coffee before, you kind of know what I mean by that, by the whole um, winter slash holiday spice thing. So let's give this a little tasty. Yeah, I'm definitely getting, um, definitely getting some, some of the cinnamon. Um, Oh, I forgot about the ginger. Since ginger on the bottle there, there actually is a bit of ginger in here. I'm definitely getting that. that that's, that's definitely going to both enhance the taste, I think, of this cigar in particular, and also just, just kind of cut, cut it through a little bit on, on the palate so that each time you have another puff, it's going to be, you know, almost like you've had it for the first time. Except knowing that you're a cigar smoker, you know it's definitely not the case. Yeah, they definitely do go well together. So we're going to uh, going to return in a couple minutes with the midway point and let you know what we think about the cigar halfway through. Okay, we're back for the flavor midsection. But before we get to that, um, while I was out tossing the ball with my dog, which is what I normally do in between these takes, or um, you know, I've got a book loaded on a Kindle that I'm reading, or you know, something like that, basically, something interesting happened. Uh, I've got some separate video of it that I'm going to show you now. Basically, what happened is a um, is one little side of it took a little bit of a runner, which is where you know, just just a little part of it burns down a lot farther than than, than the way the rest of the cigar is going. That to me uh, is definitely a little bit of a concern in terms of the construction. Uh, category which we rated before and also even after that it took it took several um, lights of the wrapper to, to kind of make it uh, burn a little more evenly that's something that I've also noticed uh, on a couple of other blogs that, that I've read in terms of uh, rating this particular cigar and also just a couple of the other sizes in general so that tells me that there's definitely a little bit of a construction problem here so uh, I'm gonna take back that 4.5 and um, you know, normally I would give it a 4.25, but, um, you know, I want to keep this simple. I, I only want to drop this down into the tenths of decimals rather than go out to the hundreds and the thousands. Even though uh, in, in my normal regular job, I actually have to deal with uh, prices sometimes that are in the uh, thousands and even tens of thousands um, decimal points for a penny. So, um, you know, I can get a little detail obsessive, but just for this, we're going to... Uh, I want to rate it a 4.25, but I'm going to round it up to a 4.3 in terms of construction. It is starting to even out a little bit, though, so uh, with that, let's just go into the uh, flavored dash mid section. Uh, and uh, once again, you can tell we're just about the mid section because we have the WWE style, um, style ring here. It's you know, nice, big, and thick. I don't knock it. I just make a joke of it. I actually like it. This one's especially sharp. And of course, what I call the chastity belt here. It's about at the midway point. Uh, so we are at the midway point. And in terms of the flavor, uh, some of the, um, a lot of the pepper is now gone. It's actually developed just a little bit of a creamy taste. Um, it's not, 
I can't really put my finger on it. It's just it's not quite as good as it was at the beginning. So for that, I'm also going to give it a, uh, a four point, not also, just a 4.0 for the mid section. Um, and we're also going to do one of these. Actually, the beer is starting to overpower the cigar just a little bit, which um, which I blame more on the cigar than the beer, basically. And uh, you know, it's just the way it is. It's still a very good combination. I def I wouldn't um, I wouldn't necessarily say don't combine them. This is you know obviously a review. It's not uh, just a bunch of guys sitting around and watching the game or whatever. In that situation, you'd be more than fine. So that's it for the uh, midsection of the flavor, and we're going to be at the end section here in a couple minutes. Uh, time to go and throw the ball with the dog more. Be back soon. We've just about finished up the cigar here, so it's time for the end point uh, in terms of the flavor section. Uh, still having some of the burn problems. That's it's a little disappointing. Uh, I'm not going to change the construction score because it's still pretty accurate, but if you're looking for just that perfectly constructed cigar and you're not thinking about anything else, you may not want to consider this. However, you know, as you'll see at the very end uh, here, basically it all comes out okay in the end. So that's all you need to know about that. Try it yourself and you'll definitely see. But just in terms of the specific flavors that are coming, uh, it's definitely getting more towards that uh, medium full again. Uh, some of the spice and the pepper are coming back. And uh, it's turning out to be a, uh, a good cigar. Kind of, you know, it, it had it in the beginning, kind of lost it a little bit in the middle, and then it came back in the end. So just for the end part, I'm going to give it a 4.3. I'm going to dutifully record that in the tracker. And with everything then said and done, it's going to come out to an average of 4.26. We're going to round that up to a 4.3 for the overall rating. And uh, it definitely is a finger burner. Uh, the, um, it's not getting overpowerful, so we are definitely going to smoke this down until we burn our fingers on it. So uh, when it comes down to ratings plus price, uh, for the thumbs up or down section, a 4.3 plus a price point, you know, of around of right around eight bucks. I've seen it a little cheaper online. If you want to go that route, it's definitely going to be a thumbs up. This is not going to uh, disappoint by any means, and uh, I would definitely smoke it again. I have no problem in uh, giving away the scars in our uh, in our giveaway, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. So. Definitely the Room 101 by Camacho, the 305 Robusto size, which is uh, which is five by uh, 50 ring gauge, five inches by 50 ring gauge. It's definitely one that I would recommend to anyone. There's two things that you need to do primarily for the contest. One is you need to follow Bob at Stogied and Stogied Web on Twitter. The other thing that you're going to need to do is tweet out a particular um, message that, uh, via your Twitter account that is going to be at the page for uh, for this review at www.stogie.com slash room 101 review. Um, each time you do that you will be you'll have one entry into the sweepstakes. I would recommend that you don't do it too often because you know like I say in, in the review itself I don't want people losing Twitter followers over this but at the same time um, you know, a little bit of promotion definitely helps uh, the Stogie Network grow. So that is it in terms of the uh, in terms of this review. Again, I'm Bob Woods from the Stogie Network. That's Stogie with a D dot com. Um, next week we are going to review the Nub Habano. It's already one of my favorite cigars. Um, so that is one that I'm going to term more of a uh, of a long-term test and that it's one that I like but yet I'm going to give you my impressions of the cigar as we go through it just like we're going to do every week here on Stogie. So thanks for joining us we'll see you next week don't forget to enter the sweepstakes and um, thanks much see you later.